I, I know how you feel. It was awful when I was trying to get Lucas back. I kept losing it, thinking it wasn't going to happen, but it did, eventually. It's just such a complicated case, you know? I can't help but think that it could go either way for us. Well, at least get the application in. Get the ball rolling, then there's hope. Hi. Hi. I'll leave you to it. But shout if you want to chat or anything. Thank you, Dawn. Hey. How was it with Ethan? Well, let's just say I doubt you're going to get to be Ivy's daddy anytime soon. What? He reckons it could take years. Not to mention that we might not even get her. I just assumed that they would want us to have her, rather than her going into care. But by the time we get to court, then I'm going to be a stranger to Ivy and the bond that we've got will have gone. And not to mention that we might be bankrupt and we might not even win. Oh, what the hell do you want? Can we talk? You were right about Lucy. I don't think she'd recognise who I am anymore. I'm ashamed of that. But I wanted you to suffer like I have since losing her. Yeah, and that's supposed to be helpful, is it? I thought this was meant to be about Ivy. Well, please, just hear me out. I've got to face prison and kills me to ask, but I need your help. Well, there's a turnaround, if ever I heard one. I've realised putting Ivy first doesn't mean keeping her away from you. She is going to need you, Rona. I'm scared for her future. And I hate that it's come to this, but I'm doing it for her. Doing what? You're the only person that can properly protect her. How am I supposed to believe anything you say after everything you've done? Yeah, I get it. Why would you trust me? But I've run out of options. And I know I'm doing the right thing here. You pleaded guilty, didn't you? Yeah. I just don't know if I can trust him. Can we at least hear him out? OK. Um, Marlon and I are going to need a bit of time to process all this. Well, how much time? Gus, you can't just expect me to instantly accept you've had a massive change of heart. But I know you love her and you'll do the best for her. Lucy's family are all in France. They don't even know her. You're the only other constant in her life, and she's bonded with you. That's because I'm her mum. Well, I'll always see Lucy as Ivy's mum. But my solicitors told me to expect prison. And I want you to have parental responsibility for her while I'm in there. You can't just hand her over. We have to do this properly. Yeah, I'll talk to my solicitor. We can make a private arrangement that won't take forever and stop her getting put into care. And she can stay with you guys who love her and will look after her properly. And how do we know this is not just another dodgy deal that you're going to back out of, like last time? Right. No, no. Come on, Gus, where's the catch, eh? See? He's putting a fast one again, aren't you? No, I promise. Do you know what? I don't trust you. I want you to leave. Hold on. I mean it. Just a minute. Right Go now, now please. I thought you said you'd hear him out. What is the point of listening to any more of his lies? Are you mad? You might have just lost your chance of getting Ivy back without a fight. 